All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are around the world. My name is Dylan with Dylan's Almost Wrestle Bar, and today we're actually going to be trying a new coffee. Um, I actually won a giveaway, and the coffee that was sent to me was Savage Coffee. So I don't know if anyone is quite familiar with Savage Coffee. However, I'm just going to go over some details with it right now. Uh, it is a geisha coffee. This is their symbiosis process. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It was roasted on March 18th of 22. Um, it is from Panama. It's 200 grams. So here's kind of like the back story of the actual coffee itself. I, I've been pretty excited to dial this in and give this a try. I've seen them I believe they started their company in 2016 and they did win um, I think the Coffee Choice Awards or something like that for tasting. I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure though I will do a, a full video on um, Savage Coffee to talk about it but really excited to try this. I've heard that uh, both the Symbiosis, the Illumination and uh, there was another one. It was really good so we'll go ahead and try it out. Obviously. As soon as I got it, I put into one of my favorite coffee canisters. Uh, now again, if you guys haven't seen the full video, make sure to go back and check out the Soul Hand video that I made. Uh, it was with all the other canisters as well. But Soul Hand is definitely one of my favorite, if, it definitely is my favorite coffee canister. Uh, I've already put it in the link down below. If you guys would use my link, I do get a small commission if you were to purchase one. They are pretty pricey, but they work very, very well. So make sure to check out uh, this full video on my YouTube channel already. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the Niche Grinder because um, I really want to bring out more of those citric notes in this. So I will bring you over to the coffee grinder if I can avoid my dogs. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we are just going to dose out. So I know some people might say, why are you going to brew it on espresso when you only have 200 grams? But I'm pretty sure if we go finer, we can dial it in pretty well with the Lillette Bianca. So I will be doing this in a pour over and other methods as well, but I'm going to try this first. It smells extremely fruity. We're going to go with 18 grams. 18.1 grams and on the niche if you guys were wanting to know we are going to be on grind setting 14 so I'm going to go ahead and grind this I'll show you how amazing this is right here you can check the it's released and the battery's full double click that it automatically vacuums the whole entire air out of the canister and then as soon as as soon as it's done it will turn off so I'll let you listen all right so now it's completely vacuumed it has full battery and let's say this is a really fresh bean which they're not extremely fresh, but they're fresher, um, and they're going to automatically vacuum themselves throughout the day, which is absolutely amazing. So definitely a big help. So I'm just going to tap all this on the side just to release it. Here's what it looks like right here. It smells absolutely incredible grounded up, but really excited to... To brew this for you guys today. All right. So I will go ahead and keep you here while we go through and tamp and distribute. So again, this is Savage Coffee. If you guys are just tuning in, I'll keep the bag right here kind of out of my way. We're using 18 grams today. And then I like to just WDT it a little bit. Get it nice and fluffy. All 
All right. And then let me go grab my distribution tool. So this is the St. Anthony distribution tool here. And then we're going to use the happy tamper because I'm feeling happy today. Perfect. All right, here we go. Let me move this tripod down just a hair so you can all see the shot. Just a hair. Just a hair. Is M here we go. All right, so I'll put you guys right here so you guys can see the shot. All right, so first we're just going to release some of that steam there. We're actually going to put the puck screen on from Normcore. Definitely recommend the puck screen. It definitely helps keep your... Uh, bed gr of ground saturated a lot better in my opinion and it's also going to allow for easier cleanup in the end right. all right we'll just go ahead and use our crew cup today so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get the pressure up to about four and then just completely shut it off. So that's at four. I'm gonna shut it completely down, let it drip, and then I'm gonna slowly ramp it back up at 20 seconds to nine bars of pressure. So there's nine bars. And then Right around 25 grams, right there, I'm gonna start dialing it back down to seven, six, five, four, three. Right there. All right, so shot looks pretty good. Uh, I definitely think that it was the right fineness for the um, grind that we're doing right now. But here was the shot. So we'll mix that up and definitely try it. But yeah, it looks texture looks really good. Color looks really good. Uh, like I said, this is the Geisha Symbiosis Panama 200 grams by Savage Coffee. Uh, I have not had this. It's going to be my first time trying this. So we'll see how it tastes. But yeah, I think this bag alone is like $65 or $70. Um, so pretty pricey. And uh, I'll let you guys know the tasting notes that I get from it. Let me just go ahead and adjust this tripod really quick. All right. Hopefully this is a good view. Pretty good? Yeah. Uh, All right. No, it's not. Nope, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> it's cutting your head off. <laughs> no, no, no. You need it higher. I'm going to sit down. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You're sitting up Look good? Yeah. All right, so I got my dogs here. I'd let them try it, but I don't want to kill my dogs because caffeine is not good for your dogs. But cheers. Um, Linda asked, how's plans going for your event coming up? Um, I've been extremely busy with overtime. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get everything done in time. But I've been working 12s every single day, so it's been pretty rough. All right, so <clears throat> right off the bat, it's extremely sweet. Um, I definitely can taste, I don't want to say it's sour. It's extremely uh, floral, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely really smooth. It's just not... It's really different. I heard reviews on the Symbiosis coffee that the coffee was a, a bit different than what people were used to, the process, I mean. But I mean, the, 
it tastes fine. It tastes good. It's just not something that I'm used to. Honey, you wanna try this really quick? Here. Here, go ahead and give it a try. Oh, yeah. Here, I gotta squat so that you can actually, so my head's not okay, cut off. Delicious. She don't like it, but that's okay. No, it, it's it's not like it's not that it's bad. It's just something that I have not tasted before. I mean, it's something that's extremely different. I feel like than anything I've ever tasted. Um, I actually want to try making a latte out of it and see what that kind of really notes that I can get. So I'm just gonna come into. Yeah, my wife is not an espresso drinker, <laughs> but, so. I, I appreciate the feedback I get from whenever I drink the espresso, so I always have a funny face whenever I drink it. So I definitely don't recommend, if you want to make good latte art, that you pour it in like this to where the crema's dissipated already, but um, hopefully we can still get some latte art out of that. I think we'll be fine. I got a lot going on over here, but. Nope. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and froth the milk here really quick. And hopefully it doesn't taste too, too um, I don't know, it's just very acidic, I feel like. Do you think that's a good word to use, honey, acidic? Yeah, that's a good word. It's so weird going from my Let Bianca to the Barista Express to the Linea Mini when steaming milk, because it's just, everything's so different. The technique is totally different on them. Yeah. All right, so we got enough aeration there. We're just submerging that steam tip. Letting that nice rolling motion go through. My dog's crying to go outside. All right, so when it's too hot to touch, it is perfect. Dylan, Mexican Chapas is your favorite of Good Brothers, right? Yeah, that and the uh, Julia. You got Cuckoo for Coffee said that he's drinking the Mexican Chapas right now. Yeah, the Mexican Chiapas is definitely my favorite. Definitely recommend if anyone in the chats haven't tried that or you're watching this video and you're new to the channel to definitely try Good Brothers Coffee and their Mexican Chiapas because it's really good. All right, I don't know how this latte art is going to be, but I will do my best. Not working with a lot of room over here. <laughs> All right, not bad. Definitely over fraud the milk a tiny bit but that is okay. I'm going to set this down and then we're gonna give that a try. All right. So again, it's a, for the espresso, it's a little bit um, on the acidic side. Uh, however, it's not like it was bad. It was definitely smooth for me. Uh, my wife doesn't like espresso at all, so that was definitely something way different. I feel like in texture and everything it was different, um, but we'll see how it is in a latte, so cheers. What tasty 
Yeah. Well, I would say that with that coffee, it's it's kind of weird because with the espresso, it's so acidic, but with the milk, it really tames that acidity down to the point where it almost tastes nutty when you drink it as a milk-based beverage. I actually really like it um, with a milk-based beverage, but I don't know if I could spend 65 or $70 for a coffee that I'm just gonna put milk with it because obviously putting milk with coffee really tames down the taste of the actual notes that you're purchasing the bag for obviously and the uniqueness. My wife thinks it enhances it but I like, I like eating, I like drinking coffee for the taste of the actual coffee not for the milk but I would say that in this case um, espresso wise the milk based beverage is a lot more enjoyable to drink than the actual espresso itself the milk based beverage um, you got an A plus on your latte right? oh thank you <laughs> wanna try it? sure alright so my wife's gonna go ahead and give it a try here <laughs> <laughs> sitting on your knee I didn't even mean to do that you can add the rest of it, by the way. Thanks. Much better. Very good. And that's without any sweetener, right? Just the milk? Yeah. It's good. I give it an A+. Plus. Yes. <laughs> you can have it. I don't want it. Oh, yeah. All right. So this was uh, the Savage Coffee. I'm going to be brewing uh, probably pour over with the uh, St. Anthony pour over here. I'm also gonna be doing a flat bottom with it. I don't have a lot of the coffee, but I have about 180 grams. Uh, actually, I have less than that. I did give uh, about 60 grams to uh, Ryan. So shout out to Ryan, he's one of our subscribers. So uh, we are going to be doing a tasting on Discord uh, probably either this upcoming week or I think we did we decided on next week but that'll be pretty fun and then I might also want to try it with a hand grinder as well to see if we can pull out different tasting notes so uh, I would say as an espresso it's, de it's definitely different um, it's very hard to tell you the different how different the actual coffee is unless it's something that you just have to experience yourself um, but like I said, I looked at reviews and Symbiosis, they said was very unique, which it definitely is. And I definitely would say that um, milk-based beverage, it definitely is about a 95% out of 100 in my opinion. So about 9.5. I give it about 9.5. It's pretty um, good. Roughly what setting do you recommend for pour over on DF64? Um, I have really enjoyed going finer grinds. Um, I usually try to do around 18 and 19 for my pour over uh, on the DF64. It's a little bit finer than most people normally go because that's usually, that's espresso range. But I think the finer the coffee, uh, the less uh, bitter and I, I feel like you're just gonna be a more well-balanced cup in the end. Uh, give it a try, if you, excuse me, if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, I'd definitely go a little bit finer if I were you to just to try it. But if you want traditional, uh, I would say probably around 40 to 45. Any other questions? Uh, nope. All right, so sorry for the lack of content recently. If you are already subscribed to the channel, I appreciate your guys' uh, input and feedback. Uh, also, your love and support that you've shown to the channel so far. Uh, I'm coming up right around 3,000 subscribers. Um, I'm about 89, oh, 89 subscribers away from 3,000 subscribers. So once I hit that 3,000 subscriber mark, I will be uh, posting a giveaway that I will be doing when I hit another certain milestone. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. I have 89 more subscribers to go until I share what the giveaway will be and how you can enter. So make sure to stay tuned. Uh, again, uh, my name is Dylan with Dylan's Almost Wrestle Bar. If you guys are following me and you guys are watching this video to the end, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as this really does help as I am a small content creator and I am hoping to post more content for you once all of my overtime at work kind of comes to a halt. So again, my name is Dylan with Dylan's Almost Wrestle Bar. This is my lovely wife, Barista Brittany. Barista. 
and we will catch you in the next one. Savage. You're savage. I approve. Classic. Bougie. Ratchet. Savage. It's ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> Stay caffeinated. Peace.